So previously we talked about the import statement over here and explained how this works. So remember there are two flavors of the import statement, uh, one which looks like this and one which looks like this and one which looks like this. So what's the difference between this statement over here and this statement over here? Uh, of course is this aliasing part. So here we are aliasing it while here we are not aliasing it. And you can see there's then another flavor which is you use the from keyword. So rather than import keyword being the first one and then you specify which library or the module that you're trying to import so this is the main module and this is the sub module and then from there you can see the import word so out of this module over here so sklearn is the main module and sub module we are trying to import just the two functions so the yellow color here signifies a function so when you do this over here and import it uh, you have to use the names as they are so mean squared error means salute error so as the names appear here you have to use them as they are but what you can do is you can actually alias them so you can say it has mean absolute error and when you do this notice now this has now got a shorthand name so this is like a friend called uh, rather than john use or jonathan you can call him johnny for example and then you can see over here that we now got an error this error if we hover over it says it's not defined if we try and run this code over here although it still works but what you notice is the bs code bs code you see bs code ide is complaining it's saying that it cannot find this function so what you can do is rather than refer to it by its full name, you can refer to it as your friend May or Johnny. So here you can do M-A-E and notice that this works. So this is a shorthand for aliasing your uh, import statement. Just add we alias NumPy as NP. You can actually do it with pretty much anything. So here we imported this function from this library and what we decided to do was to alias it. And you can do the same with the other one. So over here you can alias this as MSE and what you then get is again you can see Visual Studio Code complaining that this function no longer exists. Uh, if I remove the alias you can see the error goes away by aliasing it as MSC, then what you can do is just rather than mean squared error, you can just type MSC and your code works over here. And same with this one, you can just call it MAE. So just wanted to explain what you can do with the import statement. Um, this is sort of a beginner's guide to machine learning. Check out my previous explanation where I go through this full example for machine learning, which will be really useful. So you can see here we are we're doing different things. So here's another import statement. Again, notice here, this is the main module sklearn and this time we're using the sub module linear module and then within there we are importing in another module called linear regression